Australian firefly has left his home of South Africa to investigate dozens of mysterious deaths involving spontaneous combustion. He joins us today in the studio to give his first public interview involving his career and the tragic death of a Galway man. I'm very pleased to have you here today, Mr. Firefly. Well, that's great to finally get the chance to tell people about my work. I tried to learn as much about you as possible before we met, but there's one thing I could never find out. How did you ever get involved with the issue of spontaneous combustion? Now that's going a long way back. It was a moment in my childhood actually, when I was nine. I was on a camping trip with my father. On this occasion, he sent me off to get some firewood by myself. He was an archaeologist, and growing up around the town of the Indiana Jonesburg events, I had to admire that. And then, poof, fire lit and the flames rose to my height and he was gone. He spontaneously combusted? Yeah. I had no idea. I didn't cop on until I saw my mother. She just knew and immediately burst into tears. I think that's why I do what I do today. So I can make the pain easier for the people close to the victim. Now, to why you're in Ireland. Yes, the death of Michael Flaherty. I believe he was the first person to die of spontaneous combustion in Ireland. His wife Katie might be listening now, actually. She has become quite interested in the subject. I've spent longer than I planned to keep her spirits up. She has quite the charm about it. The due rewards of a crime are often surprising. Excuse me? You've obviously never listened to my show. It's far more interesting to hear a subject crash and burn on the spot than to destroy you in prison. Well, that's what the man who hired you to kill Mick Flaherty taught anyway. I'm sorry, Katie. 